This pot started to mold. I could have bought a new one, but I decided to go to war with SolidWorks. Check. Blender. This is kind of terrifying. And my own patience instead. Hello, my name is Trevor, and this is project nine on my journey to 52 modeling projects in 2025. Today, we're going from model to make, designing three flower pots, each with unique twists. This is how I went from molding clay to 3D printing duck feet. In last week's project, I modeled studio equipment, so hopefully this video looks more aesthetic. But today, we have a different problem to tackle. I made these cutesy air dry clay pots with my girlfriend, but then they started to mold. Less cutesy. Now I have these plants and no pots for them, but we're not just gonna buy pots. No, as always, we're solving today's problem with a 3D printer. But there's lots of 3D printable flower pots, so what makes ours special? I, I, I don't really know yet. Today's video is like a Minecraft Let's Play, but in SolidWorks. We have a theme of what we're gonna build, but not quite sure how. Designing these pots actually ended up being a lot of fun. So if you have any more flower pot ideas, I would love to hear them in the comments. Anyways, let's get started. Coming into this week's project, I had an inkling of an idea beyond flower pot. If you're familiar with 3D printing, you've likely seen these impossible pass-through cones somewhere. I mean, they're everywhere. But what if I combined that pass-through mechanism with a flower pot? First thing we do is model the cone. We slap the cone on the side for reference, which we need immediately because after making this circle, we need to copy this shape to the outside of the circle. Now we extrude just the circle out to create a cylinder. How big should my flower pot be? I'm thinking that doesn't look like a flower pot. Let's go 60. Uh, yeah. We add this central line, then sweep cut our copied cone shape along the line. Check. Select a continue. You are a continuous group. And this happened a few more times. A profile and path must be provided to... Are you not closed? What am I missing? Please! Check. Duh, no, okay, fine. Hmm, maybe that's it. This is the moment I realized that the line I drew for spiraling around wasn't positioned right. We fixed that, and... Aww. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please, please work. You're gonna work. I literally forgot what I'm doing. I wanted to add twist. Add a twist and a spiral shape is cut from the cylinder. This is great, but we need it to happen many more times before we have threads. And you know what that means? Rotate time. The circular pattern almost crashes my laptop. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Uh. Add a cylinder and a copy of our twisty dude. Combine features to get the internal part. Extrude a hole to make this an actual pot. And in a perfect world, this is great. We're done. But we're on earth, meaning we need to account for tolerances. And this really almost crashes my computer. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. This isn't good. <gasps> it did it. Okay, 10 millimeters, too much. We need 0 0.4. Flip direction. I actually want you to remove it. Okay. Now we click check. Now we can be done, but I decided to mess around with the external part a little. With that, design one is done. It's the baby of a flower pot and these fidget cones. Okay, we're back in SolidWorks for design two. We are just gonna go for it and kind of- All right, let's stop this right here. This pot ends up looking the exact same as the first minus the outside part. This is what the two pots look like side by side. I got my hands on the spiral tool and wouldn't let go. So enter flower pot two V2. I was inspired by the texture on these bolts I made from my first project of the year. If you're getting into 3D modeling, I'm gonna show you a trick for simply making textures in this design. I was going for more of a succulent flower pot design, you know, a little more squashed and smaller, so we make our initial cylinder with that shape. That looks about right. Now, here comes our silly trick. Enter the front plane, make a hexagon the height of the cylinder, extrude it out, ready, here it comes, rotate it around. Oh my gosh, that is what we're looking for. Add a hole to turn this from textured cylinder to flower pot. Pot 2, V2, done. Except I also used the fillet tool around the edge. It, it's called fillet, but I call it fillet. One of the air dry clay pots is extra cutesy. This little duck one. 
I thought about 3D scanning it to preserve it, but I don't have a 3D scanner, and I think we can remake it easily enough. But wait, where are we? This isn't SolidWorks. That's right, we're in Blender. A modeling software I'm atrocious in, but it's better for modeling more artistically, so what are you gonna do? The only thing I've ever really modeled successfully in Blender was the pig animation I put at the beginning, so this will be interesting. Different modeling software, same cylinder. Every brain cell in my body clocked overtime to remember this shortcut. G no, we're gonna, <gasps> yes. I for essentially creating an offset. Extrude that down. Now, here's where we get a little creative and funky and why we're working in Blender. Spheres are created and shaped into eyes and a beak. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> the thing that I'm trying to copy is a lot cuter than this. This is kind of terrifying. Right? Okay, cool. That kind of looks like a duck. The Boolean feature combines these into a single object. Perfect. Now just time to add feet. Surprise, it's a cylinder again, just rearranged in three of them. Position them on the pot and boom, it's all modeled, but the dimensions are all wrong. So we're gonna fix it in Prusa Slicer. Cut off the bottom for a flat face, simplify the model and add drainage holes. I simplified and added drainage holes to the other two models and that's the modeling done. Time for printing. Print complete. The true spiral pieces thread together beautifully, the succulent pot is small and bonita, and the duck is ducking great. Currently, these are just odd shaped bowls though. We've got to get some flowers in here. We're planning these two pots first. But why? What's quacking with the duck pot? It is getting painted, which is fine because all the flowers in the original pot died. So no rush. We're potting a succulent in this one, which wasn't in any of the original pots either because two out of three pots had their flowers die. This part was fun, but you know what's even more fun? Tearing up the one flower pot to transfer the only living flowers. Remember how I said I added drainage holes? Well, apparently I lied with this one. Drill time. Transfer the flowers over and we're all set. But of course, there is one more to go. The duck is painted, yay! This one just got seeds planted in it, nothing too exciting. This is what all three flower pots look like. During the project, I was trying to think of more functionality I could add, especially to the spiral design. The pass-through system could be used for an automatic water layer or a hanging pot, I thought. Still thinking, if you have any ideas for this, please let me know. Anyways, modeling these flower pots was a ton of fun, and I plan to revisit the idea and make more pots in the future. As I work on my solid work skills, there'll be more I am capable of doing. So let me know what kind of designs you wanna see. If you watched this far into the video, that's crazy. Thank you so much. Next week's design may be a little delayed because I have a side project I'm working on that I'm very excited about. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. All the resources I use to make this project are in the description below. I hope to see you in project 10, almost 20% of the way done. Take care and good luck with your own projects.